Hello learners, you all are welcome to senior secondary program of mathematics. Dear learners, I Dr. Rajendra Kumar Nayak will be discuss about basically the Cartesian system of rectangular coordinates. The Cartesian coordinate geometry that is basically we have discussed about how we have to find out coordinate of a point if the point is lies in the plane and the distance between the two points on the plane and also we have discussed about the point which is intersect the two line in a particular ratio that is section formula internal division external division we have discussed. Right now we have to discuss the midpoint formula. Midpoint means very simply suppose this is the one of the line. Suppose I would like to tell you suppose this is the line ok x y suppose x y be the one of the line. How we have to find out the coordinate of the midpoint? Middle point कोई एक लाइन का तो मिडिल पॉइंट होगा उनका कोऑर्डिनेट कैसे निकालना है देयर विल द फार्मूला सपोज दिस इज द x द कोऑर्डिनेट इज x1 y1 एंड द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ y इज सपोज x2 y2 ओके सपोज p बी द मिड पॉइंट व्हाट विल बी द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ p द कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ p आई कैन से कोऑर्डिनेट ऑफ p और मिडिल फार्मूला व्हिच इज सपोज दिस इज सपोज L1, L2 be the coordinate, okay. Then we will find which is equal to x1 plus x2 by 2, comma y1 plus y2 by 2. This is the formula x1 plus x2 by 2 plus y1 plus y2 by 2. Let we have taken example, it will be very concisely we can understand. Suppose we have to solve, suppose this is the point. A B be the point minus 2 3 is the one of the coordinate and 3 5 is the coordinate of B. What will the midpoint of A B? Okay. Suppose this is the line A and B and how we have to find the midpoint of suppose B. Okay. Simply I can say midpoint is x1 plus x2 that means minus 2 plus 3 that means can say minus 2 plus 3 by 2 comma 3 plus 5 by 2. So, when we simplify, we will find 1 by 2 comma 8 by 2 which equal to 4. So, we can say the coordinate of P will be 1 by 2 comma 4. This will be the coordinate of middle point and we have to use that formula. Suppose I would like to take another example. Suppose P, the given the point are given 6, 0 and another is given minus 2, 10. What will be the middle point? x component to x component to add karna hai. simply I can say x1 this is the x2. So, I can say x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2. So, we can say when talking about x1 plus x2 6 plus of minus 2 that is 4, 4 by 2 you will find 2 and y1 plus y2 that means 0 plus 10 that is 10, 10 by 2 that is 5. So, I can say the coordinate of the middle point of the coordinate will be find that is 2 comma 5 ok. This will be the I can say this way we can find the middle point of a line ok. The learners will remove suppose area of the triangle, area of the any triangle. You know that in a triangle the important thing is suppose this is the one of the triangle ok. A, B, C be the triangle, any triangle, any triangle means it may be right angle triangle, it may be isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle. We already know the formula of equilateral triangle root 3 by 4 s square or in case of right angle triangle half B H half base into height. That part we know. In case of any type of a triangle, we are going to find out the area of the triangle and the vertices are given, vertex. A is point suppose given x1, y1, suppose this is x1, comma y1 and B be the point x2, comma y2 and C be the point x3, y3. This is the I can say the coordinate of each vertex. How we have to find out the area of the triangle? There is the formula and that formula is, is talking area of the triangle, area of the triangle A, B, C 
which is equal to I can say half into determinate value of. We have already learned about determinate part. Determinate value of very simply I can say x1, x2, x3, y1, y2, y3, 1, 1, 1. This is the formula. And using that formula, I, we can find area of any type of triangle if once we know the vertex. Agar coordinate of the vertex, we already know we can use that formula in order to find out the area of the triangle, any triangle. Dear learners, why I am repeating any triangle means this formula will be applied any type, any category, any we can say properties based triangle we can find out. There will be no problem, no restriction for a particular kind of triangles. And using suppose this is the area of the triangle, suppose, suppose I would like to tell you this is the triangle ABC. We are taking an example. The vertices are given, A is given 3, 4, B is given 6, minus 2, and C is given minus 4, minus 5. How we have to find area of the triangle ABC? Area of the triangle, I can say area of triangle ABC, which is equal to half into determinant value of x1, x2, x3. I can say 3, 6, minus 4. 3, 6, minus 4, y1, y2, y3, I can say 4, minus 2, minus 5, again 1, 1, 1. When we find out the determinant of this, comp we can say number, you will find out the area of the triangle, this A, B, C. And when we calculate this part, you already know how we have to find out by using the determinant formula you will find the total value will be root 16, 69 and important thing is 69 by 2 you will find when we know area of the triangle always positive you will find 69 by 2 square unit, unit square because area is always comes under square unit. So the, that way by using that formula we can able to find out area of this triangle. Dear learners, now we have to move the another component, very important part that is known as the inclination or slope of the line. When talking about inclination means very simply, I can say when talking about inclination, the angle in the positive direction or we can say anti-clockwise, you know clock is moving this like, when talking about anti-clockwise, just reverse of the clockwise. That means I can say inclination of a given given line, when talking about inclination, the important thing is represent by the measure of angle made by line with the positive direction of x axis or anti-clockwise. That point is very important, positive direction, not through by negative direction. Positive means this manner we have to move. Then we can say this is the inclination. When talking about slope of the line, slope means we can say uh, angle on the tangent we can say the tan theta, the slope of a line is the tangent angle theta which max with the positive direction generally denoted by m. When talking about slope, it is denoted by small m and which is nothing but tan theta. Suppose theta be the one of the angle, its slope of the line will be tan theta. Okay. Suppose theta value is 45, tan theta is equal to 1, we can say slope of the line is 1. That is a very important thing and on basis of slope, we can find out lot of, we can solve lot of problems. Let us see how we have to solve that problem. Suppose slope of a line joining two distinct points, how we have to find the slope of the line. Suppose very simply I can say, again I would like to tell you, suppose this is the line, okay. And that line is AB with the line and a coordinate is x1, y1 and b coordinate is suppose x2, y2, okay. Now m be the, suppose m be the slope of the line, suppose we have taken m be the slope of the line. How we have to find the value of slope m? The m value we can find the formula is y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. This is the formula, formula of the slope of the line. If we, once we know that formula, we can find out the slope of any line. 
Suppose we have taken example. Find the slope of a line joining the point A is given, here A is given 6, 3 and B is given suppose 4, 10. Okay. Now, what will be the slope of the line A, B? Okay, I can say slope of slope suppose M, which is we know that y2 minus y1. That means I can say 10 minus 3 divided by 4 minus 6. Okay, 4 minus 6, correct. We can say minus 7 by minus 7 by 2. Okay, that means 7 by minus 2 or we can say minus 7 by 2. That will be the we can slope of the line. This manner we can find out slope of a line. But, but thing is we must have to remember that formula. Now condition of parallel and perpendicular line. That means very simply dear learners, suppose two line and how, in which condition we can say two lines are parallel. You know that when we can, can say that line is parallel. If two line will be parallel, the distance or we can say uh, we can say the difference length between the two line always uh, remains constant. Uh, jaise hum baat kar sakte hain ki railway track jo hai, dur jo line chalta hai, always parallel. Parallel means they never joint in a one point. Dono pe jo gap hai, isliye to gadi chal pata hai. Agar gap kam hoga, matlab constant nahi hoga, to dono jo unka wheel hai, ek time jod jayega, to automatically gadi accident hoga. So, always the track, railway track is the very, uh, we can say, important example, the, we can say the parallel line. When talking about parallel line, suppose this is the one line L1, this is the L2, L1, this is the L2 line. When we can say two lines are parallel, suppose the line L1, the slope is suppose M1, the slope of L2 is suppose M2. Okay. Two lines are parallel, I can say L1 is parallel to L2 if, if M1 equal to M2. Agar dono ka slope barabar ho gaya, remember, when dono ka slope of the line are equal, then we can say two lines are parallel. Okay. Perpendicular means you know when you are talking perpendicular, if one line is making 90 degree to another line, like this, suppose we can say take a another things, suppose very important things, suppose this is the one line, this is the perpendicular, this is, I can say L1, this is the L2, I can say L1 is perpendicular to L2. And suppose M1 is the slope of L1, M2 is the slope of M2. If we multiply M1 into M2 equal to minus 1, then we can say two lines are perpendicular to each other. Okay, that is the very important thing, the important condition I can say, this is the very important condition. Take an example, we can understand when we use that example, we will be better to understand. So that line passing through the point 5, 6 and 2, 3 is parallel to the line. Suppose, suppose I have taken, this is the one of the line, suppose A be the line, the coordinate of A is given. 5, 6 and B of coordinate is given 2, 3 and I can say, I can say another point is line is C, D. Suppose C is the line whose coordinate is given 9 minus 2 and D be the point, the coordinate is given 6 minus 5. Now question is, we have to L1, A, B is parallel to C, D. That means when talking about AB is parallel to CD, if a, a slope AB suppose M1, M1 equal to M2, then we can say how we have to find slope M1 or slope of AB. I can write slope of slope of AB. How we have to find y2 minus y1. That means I can say 3 minus 6, 3 minus 6 divided by 2 minus 5. That means minus 3 by minus 3 equal to 1. Now slope of CD, suppose slope of 
CD, which is equal to, I can write, slope of CD is how much? That means y2 minus y1, I can say minus 5 minus of minus 2, that is plus 2 divided by x2 minus x1, that means 6 minus 9, I can say 2 minus 5, that means minus 3 divided by minus 3 value is 1. What you observe? What you observe, dear learners? You can say simply, you can tell me what you observe slope of AB, slope of AB and slope of CD. Slope of AB we have get 1, slope of CD we have get 1. That means both the line, the slope are same. If both the line, the slope are same, we can generalize or we can say that the line AB is parallel to, we can generalize or we can say the line AB is parallel to CD. That is the important result. Now we check the perpendicular condition. When talking about perpendicular condition, the learner very important thing is when talking about perpendicular, remember perpendicular means dono ka slope ko agar mein multiply karne ke baad value minus 1 aya then we can say two lines are perpendicular to each other. For example, simply I can say so that the line, one of the line is given, suppose this is the line, situation is like this is the L1 line, the coordinate is given or AB, the point AB I can say the line is AB given 2 minus 5 and minus 2, 5. Okay. This is perpendicular to the line passing through 6 and 3. I can say 6, 3 and 1, 1. Okay. Then we can say simply first we have to find slope of AB. Slope of AB. How we have to find slope of AB? AB y2 minus y1, y2 is given, y2 is this 5, y2 minus y1, 5 plus 5 divided by x2 minus x1, that means minus 2, I can say minus 2, y2 minus y1 minus 2, you will find 10 by, I can say minus 4 or you can say minus 5 by 2, okay. Again, we are talking slope of slope of I can say second line that is LM. Then second that means I can say Y2 minus Y1. That means 1 minus 3 divided by X2 minus X1. That means 1 minus 6. That means I can say minus 2 divided by minus 5 which equal 2 by 5. Now what you observe dear learners? You just tell me the slope of AB is given minus 5 by 2, slope of LM is given 2 by 5. When we multiply both the slope, that means I can say AB multiply with LM will find minus 1. That means simply we can say the two lines are perpendicular to each other. Because when we multiply the two line slope, then we find the value is minus 1. If we minus 1, then we can say two lines are perpendicular. So, we can generalize here AB is perpendicular to LM. Dear learners, you just observe or you just tell me how it is easy or we can say very convenient when talking about two lines are parallel or perpendicular. Once we have to know that how to find out the slope, we can take decision whether two lines are parallel or perpendicular. Dear learners, I hope that you have enjoyed learning with me. This is a very important lesson and it, is, it will be very much helpful to understand the coordinate geometry. Dear learners, I would like to tell you, you just always watch our eVidya program that is 12 eVidya channel number 12 for senior secondary program and you must have to visit our website that is www.nios.se.in on online course material because under online course material, you will find a lot of video tutorials, audio program, text program, and practice sheet, worksheet that will be helpful more understanding of mathematics. Thank you, learners.